Hello, Matthew Williams here with a quick video to say what is everyone frightened about with this EU thing? I'm not frightened. Not in the slightest. I look out my window and as Bill Hicks said, you know, the birds are tweeting. I can hear the rush of the wind through the trees and it's a nice blue sky and I'm going to go out and walk the dog. As soon as my fucking phone shuts up and stops interrupting in the middle of my trying to record videos. But, apart from that, and somebody by the way said that the white horse was vandalised, which is not very good. Somebody daubing something on the white horse, but uh, I haven't found out if that's true, by the way. Um, yeah, I mean, what is what is the problem with us taking back control? I mean, some people literally think this is the end of the world. I mean, could it be further from the truth? <laughs> it's literally a new dawn of possibilities for the British people. We can set our own laws again. We can decide what happens to us without having to worry if it conflicts with larger overarching EU policies. We can actually take some control and we can have some pride in our country again which was quite frankly becoming just a you know 52nd state of the United European fucking unions project I mean where's the identity in that and it was starting to become to the level where you know politicians were saying we can't do that you know because it's against the EU and it's kinda like you know somebody said to me earlier on right that they were they were thinking of leaving the United Kingdom and going to live in Spain and they posted something that said this is how you get to become a Spanish citizen and I'm thinking really you know Spain has been struggling for what over a year with not even having a government and you know uh, this country uh, this country is very together okay we do not have the problems that Spain has okay right now okay and Spain is well up the sphinctoid of the European Union as we know I mean Italy's talking about leaving you know Greece <coughs> yeah I think it's really gonna be on the cards think about it think about it <laughs> which countries are going to go first after us now we've shown a shining light here this is a shining light now this person wrote back to me and you know I do like her and you know she's she's a really nice person but she's coming at me with fear you know like we've got to leave we've got to run away you know how do we run run for the hills I mean like like I say I'm looking out the window and I don't see any guns or bombs what the fuck <laughs> so what I said to her is this my comment back to her is, is this you know um, being together sounds nice and it is nice and we are we are together we are in our hearts and we are in our minds together not in our banks not in our laws please this is not about you or me or happy planet this is about globalists and elite top-down control it's not about fluffy bunnies and looking after each other which we do it's about loss of democracy and the UK getting theirs back and I think we need to see beyond the rhetoric and what's really going on behind the scenes because all of this is a power grab by the New World Order who are just trying to take it for themselves and I think what the UK has done is shown the finger to the New World Order. And I think if you look at what the rest of the world is saying right now, 
It's saying that we've stood up to control our own destiny. And some people are saying that we've stood up against the New World Order and taken back the power for ourselves and taken back our own laws. And surely that is positive. That's a positive thing. That has to be good. Okay? And that's a reason to rejoice. And I don't know why we aren't. But we're being fed a lot of negative bullshit by the media to make us feel bad. But I feel really good. And I know lots of other people do too. In fact, more than 50% of the country. <laughs> In fact. Okay. The pound! The pound has crashed! Really? Ten pence. The pound went down ten pence and is already climbing back. It's not on free fall. You know this term we heard? Free fall? Yeah? No, it's not. No, it's not. It's climbing back up. Bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. It's absolute bullshit. And what happens when you lower the price of something? Everyone buys it. And they buy lots of it because it's cheap. Quick, buy now. Buy now why it's cheap. Yeah? Which means our economy is going to go into overdrive for producing stuff. And what happens when you tend to go into overdrive? When you put the price up, you still keep selling. Good for the economy. Simple common sense. But I don't like talking about banks and money and all that sort of stuff. It's just, that's, mm, you know, come on. Let's, let's think beyond this. Let's get back to the we are all together in our hearts and in our minds. And we are still together. Even though Britain has said we don't want this undemocratic, undemocratic control, we are still together and we can still visit each other, talk to each other, travel to far distant lands. <laughs> What has changed? What's changed? Nothing has changed. Even if you wanted to go and work in France or Spain or Nigeria or Japan, it's exactly the same as it was before. You have to have a good reason to be there <laughs> and you have to pay your way. Bingo! Nothing has changed. Nothing. You know, all I see is this, this is, all of this is just like the French Revolution. It's one or two fingers to the banks and to control. And they don't like that, do they? They don't like that. You know, they don't like that at all. But I think we should, we should be very happy right now that our ship is sailing its own course. And that is good. Britain is a maritime uh, nation. We are an island. <laughs> we have to be. We always have been. And now we are the United Kingdom that we have been. We haven't been for the last 40 years and now we are again. We are a United Kingdom that can show the world that we are strong and perhaps lead the way like we did in the world wars. When we led the whole of Europe out of shit. <laughs> and I think we're just about to do it again. So, think positive. It's what we in Britain have got to offer everyone else. That's what counts. We got some common sense, folks. And I think Europe is flailing around at the moment. And it's in a state of disarray. Yeah, not us. We aren't in a state of disarray. It's Europe. <laughs> Europe will come and follow our lead in the end. You watch. So thanks very much and remain positive. We are all still friends and will continue to be so. So just remember that. Thanks very much for watching.